McCallum looks up. Curler, cracking goal! So out onto the all weather pitch, the team's playing in all weathers and it's a bit misly drizzly this afternoon at Priory Lane. But East Bourne Borough will be entertaining Bath City in this National South fixture. The Romans arrive having found a little bit of form under their new manager, Jerry Gill. As far as the borough's form goes, well, it's about as stable as a cuddly toy in a tumble dryer. 16 goals in the last three games, but uh, nine of them at the wrong end of the pitch. So let's see what we're in for this afternoon. Let's hope for an absolute cracker in spite of the uh, dull weather. They'll light up the pitch, I'm sure. It's Eastbourne Borough versus Bath City. Matt Richards through midfield, plays it out here to O.P. Edwards. He's got pace. Can he use it? Down that touchline he goes. Little Riggle needs to give it back. Finds Tom Smith. Again, across. Richards plays it out to Welsh Hayes. Bath putting the passes together for their first time in the game, but interception from Kinder John stops that one. Long, searching ball. Comes down to Frankie Artis. Hits the shot and skids fairly well wide, in fact. Wills and McCallum interplay very nicely there. And a long ball out wide to the right-hand side. Early ball in from, from Harris and handball given. Absolute bundle of players on the six-yard line. Here's the kick. Keeper punches. Torres wide. And the final shot ballooned by Harris, and it's a goal kick. Welsh Hayes with the throw. Gets it back. Looks for the cross. Decent cross. Played away by Hendon. Followed up by Matt Richards. Wide out to the left-hand side. Good raking ball. Bath can sling it in from there again. And that ball goes too long. Well, Taylor slides but doesn't win it and Bath are on the attack on the left-hand side, just inside the area. Ball played across, skids past everyone. 13 minutes played, it's an in-swinger. Punched up and away for a, another corner, but that was probably the best decision by Smith. He was under pressure. For the second successive corner, Matt Richards will take it. Curls in again, punched again. <laughs> Hendon, wide to Harris, looks up, slings it in. Oh, Taylor just can't get to, to the height of it. Welsh Hayes, long ball out beyond the back post. Goalkeeper chooses to punch again, he was under pressure. And Harris hasn't quite got that one away. There's a chance of a shot on here from the D. And a little tumble, which doesn't convince the referee of Callum. Still with it, needs support. Finds Torres inside. Big swing across. Harris with the header. Down into the area, keeper picks it up. Wills. Beats his man there and gives it wide to Harris, approaching the area, hits the shot, keeper spills it. Oh, and a great saving tackle. Uh, ends in a goal kick. Oh, good work here. And a chance of a decent cross. Just didn't find a black and white shirt there and Burrow got out of jail there. Here's Richards, curling in the free kick. One bounce to the keeper. Nice turn on the edge of the box, and they're in here, Bath City, laid back. Chance of a shot, absolutely fluffed by Tom Smith. Good ball forward, and great work there by Bath City, only the ball played too long. No, he's kept in by Smith. And a dangerous cross, who's on the end? Headed out to safety by Hendon. So, the left-hand side for a corner. Swung in by Richards. And the header this time hits his own player, and... The turn puts the ball in the net. It's almost like stopped up by Nat Jarvis. Got the turn, got the second shot in, and Bath City lead on 38 minutes by a goal to nil. Smith to Edwards. Here's the cross. Shapes for the volley, doesn't get hold of it, and Simpemba gets it out of immediate danger, but Bath City still press. Twist and turn. Finds the back post, can't reach the uh, cross. 
Here's the free kick. Keeper hasn't got it. Oh, it's gone in. A big, long free kick. Keeper should really have had it. But he probably misjudged it in the wind. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's give Barrow the benefit of the goal. It's right on half time, and it's now Eastbourne Borough 1, Bath City 1. Oh, excellent work by Jaws. Skips his man, cuts in from the right hand side, plays it across. Oh. In comes the free kick. Doesn't reach the keeper, it's headed away for the corner. So just coming up to the hour mark, here's the Bath corner. Headed up and over. Here's Makuti on the end of this long diagonal ball to the left hand side. Checks in. Gets a shot, which the keeper sees. Floats one forward, looking for doors. Wills wins it again though. Looks up, Torres is on the back. Oh. Torres coming in on that one, but uh, the defender is in first. Low ball across, oh, and it's copped in. Bath City first there. That low ball caught everybody napping at the back. I think it's Makuti who's got the touch. And Bath City have the lead on 68 minutes. Approaching the last quarter of an hour, a Borough free kick which Harris takes. It's not the keepers, it's headed up and over. Here's a good ball through the channel. Can they reach it? It's just going to beat Taylor. Makuti hooks it over the top, and there's a chance for the hat trick, and he's put it wide. Nice little ball from Makuti. Jarvis got the shot in, and in fact, uh, the deflection gives the corner. Here's the corner. Still on, and it's cracked in, and there's no argument about that one. Borough not clearing, Bath pouncing, it's 3-1 to the Romans. Redwood with the ball forward, finds Wills just outside the D, plays it into the D. The shot hits the net, and that's a smashing goal by Lloyd Dawes. And suddenly the game is alive again. So, Burrow with their tails up. Charlie Harris gets a ball in and across, and it's cleared. Here's Harris's corner. And there's the header oh. off the line, my goodness me. And then it's put over. Shot from distance, oh, and it's just gone to his head there, Lloyd Dawes. And the end of a frustrating afternoon for the Borough. A 3 2 defeat so means three losses on the run for Eastbourne Borough and Jamie Howell. They certainly put in a lot of fight today. Well, some positives to take perhaps for Jamie Howell and his team. Certainly, lots of uh, effort put in, some poor goals conceded, cost them in the end despite the uh, fight and the exciting final phases but it's finished here a third successive defeat for the sports Eastbourne Borough 2 Bath City 3 well Jamie uh, third defeat in a row and um, not too many positives to take or do you think there were no I thought there was I think um, I know it probably seems hard to hard to comprehend at the moment but um, I thought we worked really hard I thought we worked very very hard first yeah. half um, wanted effort and desire and I thought we got that and I thought you know, we went one nil down at half time. Well, sorry, we got one all, but we worked hard for that. And I thought, you know, the crowd responded brilliantly to that because they saw people putting in effort and working hard. Um, but ultimately, you know, two set pieces, two corners, and uh, an own goal is our undoing. So actually, plenty of positives, but the the, the negatives, j just silly mistakes, silly well, goals. Well, I think, right. yeah, it, I think it's very difficult for a, a supporter and a manager because you have different, sometimes different objectives. So you know. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, there's a continuous pattern 
that we do it from there. I've got a problem. We've got people, you know, we've got people here that are under contract, um, that have been here for a long time. We need new people at the end of the day, but it's difficult getting people in, um, you know, in November and, and getting people out the door. At the end of the day, we have budget constraints and um, we have to work within that. And that's not a, a, a mistake or a, I'm trying to deflect questions, but, you know, we have got problems here at the present moment. And, um, you know, there's been a continuous problem, you know, from day one. So I know what needs to be fixed and it's just harder than, uh, than I'm possibly anticipated to actually resolve that. You must take heart from the final few minutes, although you didn't get back to the draw, you blooming well nearly did. Yeah, I think Sims had a header the last minute, cleared off the line, and, and that's just that's how it's going for us at the moment. I thought, you know, I thought first half we were okay, you know, quite good. I thought second half, you know, we had the win behind us, I thought we might have a real go, and, um, you know, the, the goal killed us. You know, the, I think they got their second goal killed us. You know, we defended quite well, and then ball flashed across. We, we don't make good contact, it goes in the back of the net, and it's a soft goal. Every goal we seem to give away, I don't think the opposition has to work particularly hard to score. So, you know, um, I know it's, diff uh, it's disappointing for us all, um, but we need, to, we need to stick together in the change room. We need to, you know, be a positive force, and um, that's what we try and do for, and get ready for next week's game. So the mood is actually, we're gritting our teeth, we're, we're, we're going to build from here? Well, I think um, we are definitely going to build from here. Yeah, I think we... You know, I know what needs to be done, and um, got a very free, I've got a very clear idea in my head of how, how we're going to do that. Um, but it does take time, and that's uh, sometimes a cop out when managers say that. But um, you know, I think if, if you speak to me, I think I could tell you exactly what we what the problems are. Um, as I said we're giving away the same sort of goals each week, so that has to change, and um, that comes down to personnel, unfortunately. Thanks very much, Jamie. My pleasure.